So, it's New Year's time and you've made the definitive decision to finally go to the gym. You're going to put that bong away, shave your head and enter your team and arc. But now, the days are getting closer and the original spark you had is dying off. The prospect of actually going to the gym, signing up and entering the proximity of all these scary jack guys is becoming very real. You don't really know what movements you should be doing, when you should be going, who you're going to go with, and the original person you were going to go with has bailed you, and you haven't even thought about diet yet. My friend, you were so close to changing your life around positively forever. So let me get you back on track. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know before stepping into the gym, so for you to retain as much information as possible, please watch to the end of the video or even chuck them at 1.5 speed if you need to. Before we get to the video, I just want to quickly mention that I'll be referencing the 180 program a lot in this course. That's basically the program that I followed to get the results that I got. So I would highly suggest checking that out if you're interested in maximizing your results in the beginning as fast as possible. It's what all three of us boys did and we got ridiculous results. So yeah, if you want a straightforward program that's going to put on as much mass as possible and minimize the time in the gym, I really recommend following this program. But with that out of the way, let's get into the the video. First of all, let's talk about public gyms and gym etiquette. Guys, I'm here to tell you that you have absolutely no reason to be intimidated or scared of a public gym. It is the most friendly and helpful environment that you could step in. It is filled with the nicest people that are all interested in improving their lives. Usually how you'd enter the gym, you'd go up, you'd scan your daily pass. Ducker, don't touch the receipt because it gives you, it, it hurts your testosterone levels. Real uh, shit. The BPA, refuse. the BPA on it. Or you get a day pass, or if you're interested in a membership, you'd ask them about the membership and sign up for a membership. Then you can either go to the free lockers and put your stuff in the locker, or you can just carry it around with you. It's up to you guys. Those places are good just to chuck your stuff in while you're working out. It's also good to bring a towel, especially if you sweat a lot. Bring a towel, but I don't actually bring a towel, and a lot of people don't bring towels either, and no one's going to judge you for not bringing a towel. A lot of gyms will actually have the rule that you have to use a towel, but no one listens to them. It just depends on your gym. If you look around, everyone's using towels use a towel. But before all this, you need to make sure that you've got a good program that you can follow every time you go into the gym. You don't really want to be walking around trying to find free machines and just doing random accessories because most of the machines there are for isolation movements. So like I said, the 180 program is the perfect program if you're wanting to start out and just do a bunch of compound movements. But next, let's run through eight of the only gym etiquette rules that you need to know. Number one, if you want a machine but someone's using it, don't just stare at them and look at them. That's creepy. Go up to them, ask how many sets they've got left, and they'll be more than happy to answer you. Number three, if you want a cable attachment and someone's near that machine or that cable attachment, ask them if they're using it. Most of the time they're not, but a bit of common sense is required here if they're obviously not using it, just grab it. I have a lot of people coming up to me at the gym and say, are you using this attachment? And I'm on the other side of the gym. It's like, I don't know, mate. Number three, if a female cleaner is in the male toilets, don't go in there and take a piss. Wait till they're out of the toilets. Unfortunately, it's just how it is. You're just going to have to wait. Number four is to put your weights away where you found them. Now, this is the only rule that people are very stingy about. Are you on here? Yeah, we're done with it. Are you done? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on, wait. Wait, what's wrong with the picture, though? What's wrong with this picture? You guys, bro, I can't lift this, bro. And that's for a reason. If you put it in the wrong spot, it can just cause havoc. Make sure you always put away the weights. That's pretty much the main rule that you should follow. Number five, if someone asks you for a spot and you don't know how to spot, just tell them that. It's better than them failing the rep and then they kill themselves because you don't know how to spot. A better alternative to this is just learn how to spot. It's pretty easy. On the bench press, you just stand behind it and lift the bar up if they can't lift it. But there's plenty of YouTube videos out there on how exactly to spot. So, And this goes vice versa. If you're lifting a weight and you're not confident whether you can lift it or not, just ask anyone for a spot and usually they'll be more than happy to help you out. Number six, if you spill something, clean it up. If you spill crumbs, clean it up. Number seven is wipe down the machines once you're done. There's a lot of gyms that don't actually enforce this rule, but if you've got your butt sweat on the machine, no one wants to sit in that, bro. And if you're someone who sweats a lot, especially, just remember to wipe down the machines. All right, so with that out of the way, let's talk about what you should be doing at gym. So the main thing you want to focus on when you start is compound movements. I see a lot of people doing isolation movements and all these weird accessories. When you start, you want to build a strong foundation. And this is basically what my course teaches as well. You start off doing a lot of compound movements and then you move on to the accessories and all the isolation movements. Compound movements are things like bench press, squats, deadlifts. And these are all things that will build a good foundation. And then you can start doing isolation exercises to increase your upper body. Now, the reason the program focuses on upper body so much, doing a lot of shoulder exercises and lat exercises is because that is what will build you an aesthetic physique. And an aesthetic physique is basically a physique that has a V taper and a really wide upper body. This is the most appealing and the most attractive physique. And we want you to build this physique because it's what will look the best. And let's be honest, half the reason we're doing this is to look great. And that is the most sexually desired and the most attractive physique. Small waist, 
big upper body. So let's just summarize that real quick. You'll start off doing a lot of compound movements to build up a foundation, and then you can move on to more complicated things that will build different parts of the body. All right, so next, let's just quickly run through diet. If you don't have your diet in check, it's like pulling an all-nighter and then going to an exam. You're gonna get results, but why would you? You could get way better results if you just got sleep or dialed in your diet. I've talked about this in a few videos, but I'm gonna keep it simple again. If you're skinny and you wanna put on mass and you wanna put on size, you need to be in a calorie surplus. This means you eat more calories and burn less calories. Now, I know you're saying to me right now, I'm a hard gainer, my metabolism's fucked and this and that. Download a diet tracker. You basically need to be eating more calories than your maintenance, and that is what a calorie surplus is. And you'll find out very soon once you start tracking your calories that you're just not eating enough. You can go to any calculator online. You can just look up maintenance calculator. You put in your body weight and your height and stuff like that. It will tell you how much you need to be eating. And with losing weight, you need to be in a calorie deficit. This means you eat less and burn more calories. So you'd have to include cardio within your training program. Now, another mistake people make when they're bulking is they just eat shit food. I don't want you to mistake bulking for just eating a bunch of McDonald's and that kind of stuff because your gut is your mind. And if you eat like shit, you'll start to feel like shit. Your skin will look like shit and you'll just turn it into a big pile of shit. Most of you will know what you should be eating and what you shouldn't. Like I said, I've, I've said this before. McDonald's, you look at it, you say, look, I probably shouldn't be eating that. Steak, okay, that looks good. I'll eat that. And it's pretty simple. Most people will know when they look at a food, whether it's good for them or not. So it's about eating unprocessed foods and that's gonna be a lot better for your mental health, your mental clarity and your focus. And yeah, I really suggest just dialing in your diet at first because that's a mistake I made. I was just eating like shit and the results I'm putting on, like, it was something because I had those newbie gains, but it could have been a lot better. So those were the basic fundamentals of going to gym. If going to gym is your new year's resolution, start going to gym now instead of in the new year. It's not gonna make any fucking difference. And the more you hype it up, the less likely you're gonna be to go. And once you've watched this video, you have no excuses. You know every single thing you need to know about going to gym. And if you have any extra questions, feel free to message me on Instagram and I'll, I'll let you know. I'll give you no excuse. All right, and I'll hunt you down and I'll make you go to the gym. It's gonna improve your life so much. And once you break past that two month barrier, you will most likely become addicted. People that have brained to gym and made them consistently trained, they end up falling in love with it anyway because this is what we're supposed to do and that's why we become addicted to it because humans are supposed to move. Of course, you're gonna feel like shit. Of course, you're gonna feel depressed if you're not doing anything. And I wanna reiterate as well that Everyone feels uncomfortable when they first go to gym. All right? It's not like this comfortable thing you should be doing, but that's the point of it. Where there is the most resistance is the most success. So get in the gym. It's going to be hard at first, but you'll get used to it and you'll start enjoying it. Most people that go to gym, they couldn't imagine their lives without it. And I couldn't imagine my life without it. It'd just be falling apart. It'd be shambles. I wish you guys the best. Like I said, if you guys want a really easy training program to follow and a diet program as well, go to the link in the description. It is easily the best program to follow as a beginning and you guys can also expand on that and get the full package and you guys will learn how to build a business and just improve your entire life in general change your mindset and everything thanks for watching the video and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace thank you to everyone for the support Boom!